Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Following the release of Harman Photo's new 35mm color film stock, Phoenix 200, I saw a lot of varying results online. In the video that I made about shooting these two rolls of film, I noted that the characteristics of this film stock seem to be punchy, contrasty, oddly saturated, and very little dynamic range, which was all in line with what Harman Photo described this film stock to be in the paperwork that they sent me when they sent me the two rolls of film as well. They said when you get this film scanned on common lab scanners like Fuji Frontiers or Noritsu's, you'll kind of get this punchy, saturated, cross-processed vibe, which is exactly the results that I found I got from the lab. So I didn't really think anything of it until I started seeing these other results that were much more warmer and much more neutral overall. So in today's video, I wanna directly compare the lab scans that I got of these two rolls of film that were all done on a Noritsu 3212 with the home scans that I performed on the exact same two rolls of film using my Sony a7 IV with a 90 millimeter macro lens editing them in Lightroom and using Negative Lab Pro to convert the negatives into positives. Now I pulled a variety of photos from these two rolls of film. I got some that I think are a little bit underexposed, some that have a nice even exposure, as well as others that are overexposed. And what I'm gonna be doing is looking at the lab scan first and then taking a look at the home scan and converting it live in Negative Lab Pro and then directly comparing the unedited lab scan and the unedited home scan as well as editing both to try to get them to what I would consider to be a finished state. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we have this picture of this lake, bridge, sky, some really dark shadows, uh, some pretty bright highlights. Now, if we go over to the home scan, you'll see there is some detail here in the shadows. The sky does appear to be pretty blown out overall even on the home scan, but we're gonna go ahead and convert this, grab my white balance, crop this in, pull up Negative Lab Pro, and I experimented with a few different settings, but I found the best overall to be the basic color model, drop the pre-saturation all the way down. Now I've been messing around with various tone profiles, and I found that Cinematic Log is a good one if you really wanna retain as much of the information as you can in the photo. Um, lab standard seems to be pretty decent the majority of the time. As you can see, it's got a little bit more of a lab scan look here with some darker shadows, more punchy highlights. Um, and then linear has also been one that I've been using. And that's kind of like a happy medium between the cinematic log and the standard lab. All right, so here on the left, we have an unedited lab scan of this photo. On the right, we have an unedited home scan. And as you can see, this is a night and day difference. Lab scan, virtually no detail in the shadows here. Sky completely blown out and has this orange kind of tint to it, orange pink tint. So you can see there's really nothing, no detail in the water. And then over here, it's just a it's a completely black blob of mush. Now, if we go to the home scan, we have quite a bit more shadow detail over here on the right side. The sky has a much more natural tint to it, albeit it is still blown out. Um, you can see kind of that orange halation that's a characteristic of this film stock. And then on the left, again, we have some more shadow detail in this kind of bush here but i mean just look at how crunchy the lab scan is of this photo now this is unedited on the left side for this lab scan so let's go ahead and and see what we can do with it to try to get it to a similar state as our home scan so reduce this contrast all the way bring the shadows up a bit and as you can see we're getting a lot of noise a lot of grain here very mushy image overall and the sky has kind of still got this orangish pink tint to it. So I'm going to try to reduce that a little bit. All right, so that's probably what I would do with the lab scan. All right, now let's go ahead and edit the copy of the home scan just to get it to my liking. I'd probably increase the contrast a little bit, warm it up a touch. 
Increase the saturation a little bit. Maybe try to get a little bit more shadow detail even. I'd probably leave it right there. So let's compare our edited lab scan on the left with our edited home scan on the right. As you can see, I was able to edit the lab scan a good amount, um, get some of that detail back in the shadows, but it does look a little bit more punchy, a little bit more contrasty, even with the contrast slider all the way down on the lab scan. And overall, I'm liking the colors a little bit more from the home scan. So for this first image, I definitely think the home scan is going to take the win. All right, next up, we got this photo that's got some pretty washed out highlights in the bottom half and then some pretty deep shadows again, kind of in the middle of the frame and up top. This is the unedited lab scan here. Now let's jump over to our home scan. As you can see, there is some highlight detail down here that we're going to be able to extract, as well as some shadow detail. So I think we're going to be able to get this image looking somewhat presentable here. So again, on that cinematic log tone profile, just to kind of get as much information as we can out of this. All right, so here's our unedited lab scan on the left, and here's our unedited home scan on the right and as you can see this is kind of the theme uh, throughout all of these images you just get a much flatter photo using the home scan right off the bat uh, you get more detail in the darker and brighter parts of the image and just more room to work with if you want to start editing these in Lightroom but again let's start editing both of these to try to get them to a uh, kind of equal state. So I'll start off with editing the uh, home scan here. I'd probably call this good and then let's go over to our lab scan and try to edit this a bit. Get some more info in the highlights. You can see those highlights pull back actually pretty well. We're getting a good amount of detail out of those. So if we compare these right now, you'll see that the lab scan kind of has this overall greenish tint to it. If you look here in the shadows, the shadows on the home scan look much more natural to me than the shadows over here on the lab scan. And if you go up to this awning, you can see this kind of got this like vintage greenish orange warm t uh, tint to it, whereas the home scan looks more natural. I don't mind the look of this lab scan as it is right here, to be honest. Um, I just don't think there's any question that the home scan does look more balanced overall. All right, now let's go to one of my favorite photos from these two roles, a portrait of this lady reading a book on the street. This is the unedited lab scan. And then if we go over to our negative, you can see this is going to be pretty bright all in here. Her skin tones will probably appear to be a little bit washed out. Um, but other, I mean, it does look like there's information everywhere, so we should be able to edit this to get it to where we want it to be. So let's white balance this and convert it. I'm kind of going cinematic log on pretty much all these home scans. I think that just gives me a good base to work with if I want to start messing with the settings in Lightroom or even mess with these settings in Negative Lab Pro. All right, unedited lab scan on the left, unedited home scan on the right. Right off the bat, I actually prefer the lab scan on this one. Don't mind the contrast. See your hair kind of blends in with the shadows in the background. I don't mind it. Overall, I'm like, especially with this kind of like street style 35 millimeter film, I'm more of a fan of the punchy contrasty look. Um, the biggest thing for me are just natural looking colors. I don't like the colors to be all wonky, but just from a, you know, contrast perspective and overall first impression, I like the lab scan better on this one, but let's edit the home scan and see what we can do. So edited lab scan on the left, edited home scan on the right. And both these look pretty good to me. I think I actually prefer the lab scan on this one though. All right, next let's go to this portrait of a man working on this scooter. We got our unedited lab scan. Moving over to the negative, do our same conversion process. So this to me is pretty much perfect. Lab standard, maybe check out the linear tone profile 
I really don't mind the lab standard here. I like the amount of contrast. The colors look really neutral, really balanced to me. So I'm just gonna make a copy of this and let's do this comparison. Unedited lab scan on the left, unedited home scan on the right. A very similar amount of contrast between the both of them, but the colors are just much more natural on the home scan. There's kind of this warmish green tone going on consistently throughout the lab scans. Um, that isn't a big deal. I mean, some people might even prefer that look. I think it makes it look a little bit more vintage, like this film's been aging in, on a shelf for a long time. Let's just go ahead and edit this a little bit to try to get it more in line with uh, the home scan. We're just going to tweak our color wheels a little bit. If we edit this home scan, bring the contrast down a bit, bring the, bring the, sh uh, the highlights down a little bit. All right, so there you go. Hey guys, before we continue, I just want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the best in the business when it comes to building a new website. Whether you're a photographer, artist, musician, or starting a new business, Squarespace has all the tools you need to get a professional website up and running. I recently hosted an entire online photography gallery that featured 100 photographers from around the world on my personal website, and that's all thanks to Squarespace. The website building interface is extremely intuitive and absolutely zero coding is necessary. They have a ton of fantastic templates to choose from and from there you can begin to further customize the look and feel of your site to make it unique to you. On top of that, they have great e-commerce tools that let you keep track of orders, inventory, customers, offer memberships, and more. And with fantastic customer service, you're always in the clear if you ever need help along the way. If you'd like to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, head over to squarespace.com slash Bray or use code Bray at checkout to do so. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another photo here. This is a lab scan. This one is actually kind of crazy, the difference right off the bat. So if we go to the negative you can see just how much shadow detail there is here you know it's not great it's not going to give you as much detail as something like portra but there's shadow detail there that doesn't really show up in the lab scan so let's make our conversion here and see what kind of result we get so instantly i mean we are getting i'm not even going to tweak this i'm just going to leave it at lab standard everything else as is make a copy so we can compare these right away look at this Lab scan on the left, home scan on the right. I mean, the amount of detail we got out of the shadows on the home scan is crazy when you compare it to the lab scan. So these are just both unedited. You can see there's a color shift here too. We got that kind of more orange, pink, warm tone on the lab scan, a little bit more blue and cool on the home scan. So I'm going to edit the home scan to the way that I want it. And truthfully, it's just about the way that I'd want it. Maybe I'd maybe warm it up a little bit, add a tiny bit of contrast, bring a little bit more detail back in the highlights. That's about all I do to that. And then if we go to the lab scan, obviously we need to decrease the contrast a bit, increase the shadows. So you can see the lab scan's editable for sure. I think when you start increasing the shadows on the lab scan, it just gets a little bit more noisy and muddy. These shadows don't look as good to me compared to the home scan. Just a little bit more contrasty, a little bit more noticeable noise. The home scan just looks a little bit softer. But we are able to get both photos looking relatively similar and if you're just showing this stuff on instagram i mean all these little nitpicky details are going to be kind of negligible all right let's just do a couple more here i really like this one of this guy sitting on the scooter colors came out a little weird as you can see it's like pinkish purple kind of that cross-processed vibe on the lab scan so if we go to the home scan and go through our usual process here so again <laughs> The colors, much more natural. Now it's really flat, not very saturated right now, so we're gonna have to add that in. Lab scan on the left, home scan on the right. 
a pretty massive difference. We still have the halation going on on these brighter areas, but the color difference is wild to me. So I'm going to edit this uh, home scan to get it the way that I want it. Add some contrast back in. And that's probably how I'd leave the home scan. So now I'm going to go over to the lab scan and try to edit this. Get it looking presentable. All right. That's probably what I'd do to the lab scan. If we compare these now. All right. That's what I would do. Final lab scan edit. Final home scan edit. I think both are just fine. Again, <laughs> it's just kind of personal preference. I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards the lab scan on this one but uh god i could go either way really could all right and the last one we're gonna do is this portrait of alicia lab scan honestly i could just leave this as is but i might think i'm gonna warm it up just a touch and boom i'd probably leave it right there now to get our lab scan looking similar we're gonna decrease the contrast as usual brighten it up and there we go so yeah, this is kind of an interesting little case study because I mean, when I get scans back from the lab, I am 99% of the time always content with them. And I actually don't even utilize my home scanning setup that much because the scans I get from the lab whenever I shoot, you know, Portra or Ektar or Gold or Color Plus or even Slide Film, I'm always pretty damn happy with the results but for some reason with this particular film stock it just it just works so much better to home scan it it seems like um, obviously across the board home scanning is going to give you more flexibility and and more room to play with um, but like I mentioned I mean I get my scans back from the lab after a backpacking trip and after shooting five rolls of portrait and I don't even think to home scan them because they're pretty much exactly the way that I want. So hopefully this video provided some information that you can utilize moving forward. Um, I'm also going to put all these photos, the unedited, unedited lab scans and my direct unedited negative scans for my home scanner in a downloadable folder in the description of this video. If you want to download them and mess around, if you have negative lab pro or or Lightroom and you just kind of want to edit these and play around with them to see um, if they suit your needs, you're welcome to do that. A uh, free downloadable folder will be in the description. So thanks very much for watching guys and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.